हाँ तो वेलकम साथियों आज के शो के लिए और बिगिनिंग को मैं आप सभी का इंट्रोडक्शन करवा के देता हूँ हमारे साथ आप जुड़ चुके हैं एडवोकेट शाहिद अली अंसारी जो बॉम्बे हाईकोर्ट में प्रैक्टिस करते हैं हमारे मित्र है हमारे साथ में जुड़ चुके हैं सुरेश गुरे जी वो भी हमारे मित्र हाईकोर्ट में कैट में और मैट में भी प्रैक्टिस करते हैं और हमारे साथ में जुड़ चुके हैं श्री राजा बासु जी वो शिपिंग कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया में जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ ऑफिसर्स यूनियन में काम कर चुके हैं और फिलहाल हमारे मित्र है और मैं एडवोकेट राजीव के पांचाल बॉम्बे हाईकोर्ट में प्रैक्टिस करता हूँ और आज का जो हमारा टॉक शो होगा हाउ टू सेट क्रिमिनल लॉ इन टू मोशन मतलब सामान्य आदमी जब कोई पुलिस स्टेशन में जाता है या वो किसी गुनाह का एक विक्टिम होता है शिकार होता है तो अपना जो हक है न्याय मांगने का उसकी पहली सीढ़ी जो होती है एफ से यानी कि क्रिमिनल लॉ को सेट करना होता है यह सब्जेक्ट बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है और इट इज नॉट ओनली पर्टेनिंग टू लॉयर्स कम्युनिटी इट इज पर्टेनिंग टू एवरीबडी इवन ए कॉमन मैन तो इस सिलसिले में हम आज का शो शुरू करेंगे बिगिन विथ डियर फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई लाइक टू इनवाइट श्री राजा बासु जी बिकॉज ही इज अ कॉमन मैन एंड एज अ कॉमन मैन ही हैज गॉन थ्रू द एक्सपीरियंस Uh, at police station when he had gone to the police station to lodge the fir so let us hear from him as to what happens in the police station when he uh, when any common man goes to the police station with a complaint against somebody so basu ji mai aapko phone lena chahunga thank you sir uh panchal sir actually out of four three are lawyer yeah and one is the common citizen Yes. but there is a relation between the common citizen and the lawyer because lawyer gives the justice and citizen asks for justice yes yes so there is a relation and in that relation i want to say i want to talk to you regarding some matter yes uh aap zyada jante hai aur teenon log jo hai teenon lawyer hai practicing lawyer in by profession they you are lawyer तो आप क्रिमिनल प्रोसीडिंग्स भी करते हैं तो हर रोज कोर्ट में जाते वक्त आपको मालूम होता है कि एफ कितना होता है या एफ आई क्यों नहीं होता है और कैसे नहीं होता है वन रीजन व्हाट आई फील दैट ऑल ऑल द स्टेट्स डजेंट वांट टू शो द क्रिमिनल रेट दैट इज द रीजन दे डोंट वांट टू फाइल एफ आई दैट इज अंबर वन रीजन और बेसिक रीजन पुलिस डजेंट वॉन्ट टू टेक दी huge pain before the law yeah. it is number 2 mm-hmm. because there is a huge shortage of police in every state yeah yeah mai mera experience bata sakta hu aapko ki maine fir karne ke liye mai 10 saal se koshish kiya lekin mm-hmm. fir hua nahi hai mm-hmm. and that too also very uh, good cause mm-hmm. uh, because uh, shipping corporation ki institute ke samne ek bar hai abhi bhi hai <laughs> उसके लिए मैंने सेंट्रल मिनिस्टर स्टेट मिनिस्टर चीफ मिनिस्टर से लेके इवन इंक्लूडिंग सीपी डीजीपी एवरी टाइम दिस पीपल कॉल मी टेक माय स्टेटमेंट बट अल्टीमेटली दे वांट टू फाइल एफ आई आर एक तो एक yeah. एक केस है uh, <laughs> दूसरा एक मैं मैंने एक किया था Uh, because i want to uh, file a fir because we have preparation of fund uh, and um, uh, uh, criminal breach of trust hmm hmm but wo uh, bhi matter uh, police station ne mera statement liya lekin aaj tak fir hua nahi hai okay and another matter also there is a uh, totally uh, cheating forgery wo uh, dikhta hai matlab बट उस मैटर में भी एफ आई आर हुआ नहीं है खाली क्या होता है कंपनी दे गिव इन राइटिंग कि ये इधर कॉग्निजेंस कुछ हुआ नहीं है मतलब एक्ट को पूछता है कि कुछ तुमने किया है कि नहीं गलत किया है कि नहीं क्राइम किया है कि नहीं तो एक्ट कभी बोलेगा नहीं कि बोलेगा कि मैं क्राइम किया है तो इसी इसी वजह से केस को एफ आई आर हुआ नहीं है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट 
I have to go to the SPCS, State Police Complaint Authority, mm -hmm. and as well as the 156.3. But uh, as a common citizen, I can say that this is a this is a, this is a huge pain for me. Yeah. That not only I have to go to the police station, uh, but there is a uh, even the judiciary that too also so slow. Mm -hmm. The entire difference of the criminality is gone. And mm -hmm. then ultimately people become fed up and they doesn't want to do these things. Right. But right now I am not, not yet even also fed up. Mm -hmm. I believe in the law mm -hmm. and hope that I will get justice. Yes. So, this is Basuji ke kuch personal experience jo unhone hamare saath mein share kiye. And I think uh, Basuji is not the only one who has undergone such kind of experience at the hands of police. And as a lawyer, uh, we know and we do often receive such cases uh, uh, from the complainants or the victims uh, who have been denied access to justice uh, by denying the FR itself. Uh, so with this uh, comment, I would like to now invite Advocate Shahid Ansari uh, to give his uh, beginning uh, opening comment on this uh, particular aspect. Yes. Uh, Thanks all my dear friend Rajesh Pancha, Ghamre sir and uh, Basu sir. What law is regarding this? As the person who wishes or wants to file a complaint about the FIR, he need to visit the police station personally. Sometimes if not personally, then he can call by phone also. In yeah. that case, the information provided by him so as to come, uh, register the FIR, if it reveals that cognizable offense has been committed by known or unknown person, in that case, Police has to register FIR. Yes. This is stated in section 154 of CRPC. The nature of liability on the part of police officer is of mandatory and there is no discretion left with the police officer. Yes. The criteria to register FIR is that once the information given by the informant, victim or informant, that, that information discloses commission of visible offense. Correct, correct. By known or unknown person. Yes. Then only FIR can be registered. Yes. If the information does not disclose a commission of uh, cognizable offense, it uh, reveals that only uh, non cognizable offense has been committed, or if more than uh, one offense is that have been committed, then in that case, NC has to be registered according to section 155. Yes. Double file of CFPC. Yes. The such information can be given in the form of oral. Because the person may be illiterate or such information can be given in the written form to yes. the police officer. Yes, yes. So as to register. Yes. And so, such information is given in the oral form to be released in writing by the police officer. That is in the prescribed format and it has to be read over yes. before the information. What is he telling? That is exactly written in the FIR. Otherwise, police may write something else and his complaint will be different. So okay. it should be read in front of the informant. Yes. And it should be reduced in the writing in the prescribed format provided by the state. And it should be signed by the informant. Yes, yes. And a copy of the same should be given free of charge to the informant. Yes, yes. So now, now you may go. Yeah. Thank you, Jai, uh, for your opening comments on this aspect. Uh, now let us invite our friend uh, Suresh Gambreji, uh, Advocate Suresh Gambreji, you can tell us what is your experience in this experience as a lawyer? Yes. Uh, first, uh, good evening everybody. Yeah, good evening. Uh, my friend Shahid Ali Antari, Mr. Basu and your Mr. Pancha. It's a very good uh, subject we have taken for discussion today. Yeah, which is uh, related with the common man, police, as well as advocate, and all the subject of this country because yeah. criminal law can be set motion by anybody. That is a precedent. That is a principle in criminal law. My yeah. friend Shahid Ali Ansari uh, rightly quoted that uh, chapter twelve uh, in a CRPC. Um, Section 154 uh, gives idea about the first information report. Yes. So first information report on behalf of victim also can be given. 
this is a very beginning of the police action yes, yes. that is why it is important without without fir police are also not authorized to yes. investigate the thing or inquire the things so fir is must a recent uh, uh, example we can uh, refer is that uh, is a uh, uh, honorable uh, minister uh, this uh, mr deshmukh uh, one uh, advocate jayshree patil has a uh, register fir in malbar police station that is what we heard <laughs> so lawyer only knows advocate only knows yeah 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 what what should be done how to initiate the action correct if correct. there would not have been the fir <laughs> the things would not have reached to the logical end correct there would not have been any action as uh, uh, taken by all the it is a uh, under subjudice yes so we cannot talk much about it also we have to respect uh, all the agencies yes, yes. Uh, so my experience has so like that <laughs> so many times we go we file a uh, fir we wanted to file a fir we give a complaint but police says and writes <laughs> it is a complaint is of civil nature <laughs> and you are at liberty to go to civil court yeah, yeah, to yeah. initiate the action yes, yes. and later on <laughs> when when we approach to the trial court that is the jmfc or mm court in uh, uh, cities <laughs> and uh, under 15563 when we approach the court <laughs> then they are ordering a crpc 202 <laughs> for uh, investigate Correct. it means huh. it means learned uh, judges they are having or a bird eye view they are sitting mm-hmm. at bird eye view mm-hmm. bird eye they knows what is a offense what is not offense mm-hmm. now they, they there is a, a question of commission and omission uh, on the part of uh, police also sometimes their ignorance also mm-hmm. i came across so mm-hmm. in that case we can later on you know mm-hmm. 166 of ipc Mm-hmm. which is against the government sir one and 166a also which is specially for the uh, police officer as we discussed yesterday yes uh, i had a, another uh, incident also uh, as my learned friend mr basu said about spca mm-hmm. state police complaint authority yes sir. now surprisingly mm-hmm. this authority is not known to police also and i wrote it also Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it is in Mumbai, Port Area near Mantralay, that co- near the Cooperage Ground. Yeah. So what is that authority? If any police uh, personnel, if there is a omission or commission of the act, yeah, yeah. which amounts to the uh, offense yeah. on the part of the police officer, you can approach the SPCA uh, control authority. there is a judge there is a another uh, authority also with the judge who can uh, sort out the our uh, complaint yeah, so yeah. one should not leave in between yeah, we yeah. should have faith on your, our own yes. common man also and advocate is a must yes so we should have faith so recently i am uh, complained uh, against the builder Uh, this police people say no no it is a civil nature you approach to the civil court mm-hmm. when we went to spca spca also upheld mm-hmm. the stand taken by police mm-hmm. then after police is a change mm-hmm. in charge is change mm-hmm. again my client without telling me he approached to the another senior pi okay. and he uh, register fir and culprit is behind the bar okay so there is a need to educate the law enforcing authority yeah, yeah, yeah. and it is a very vast subject yes. you can throw much and more light on it uh, that's all i can stop it. thank you uh, thank you indra ji uh, now let me highlight uh, the importance of uh, uh, having access to this and why uh denial uh, to lodge the fir at the hand of police uh, results into 
a gross uh, application of duty amounting to violation of uh, you know in in fact fundamental uh, right violation uh, because uh, uh, article 21 read with article 14 uh, gives common man a fundamental right to have access to justice and let us never step into the shoe of a common man uh, who is wronged done or who is victim of a crime okay no common man has a fundamental right under constitution of india to seek the justice and a victim seeks justice uh, in the law by first approaching the court uh, so, sorry police station and there comes the police machinery into picture and the first machinery that comes into picture to uphold or to uh, grant the access to justice is the police as far as criminal law is concerned okay now in uh, crpc Uh, there are various kinds of offences because crpc deals with the procedure and ipc is in such law uh, indian penal code which uh, defines many offences but there are other laws also which also define the offences so crpc is exhaust to uh, law that uh, gives the procedure now generally speaking uh, offences are of two nature two kinds uh, cognizable and non cognizable as mr ansari also referred to If the offence is cognizable, then it is uh, uh, FIR uh, 154 comes into play. But then again, uh, if the FIR is not uh, lodged by the police, one can go to the magistrate under Section 156.3. Uh, but uh, there is a judgment of the Bombay Police Court in the case of Priyanka Srivastava that before uh, going to 156.3, uh, one has to make a uh, uh, representation or say a notice uh, given to the SP. In the section uh, 154 uh, subsection 3, and then uh, magistrate, as you rightly said, in many of the cases, even if you file a complaint under section 156.3, that is private complaint, magistrate, uh, you know, uh, choose uh, some different uh, procedure that is under section uh, 200, and uh, they they order the investigation at the hand of police under uh, 202, uh, directing investigation under section 156.3. and then this results into uh, delaying the matter uh, for a long time and report is awaited for years together uh, recently our bombay high court has taken uh, strict cognizance of this kind of uh, things uh, the honorable division bench was uh, informed that there are cases uh, which are pending before the magistrate court in mumbai that is metropolitan courts in mumbai for the years together at the stage of uh, you know uh, 202 inquiry as well as the uh, district So Bombay High Court has directed the Registrar of the High Court to collect the uh, material uh, in respect of the data uh, in, in uh, Metropolitan Courts. How many cases are pending and uh, how long they have been pending? So uh, this is the reality. Now uh, you know uh, there are some offences for which uh, entirely different procedure is given in our CRPC. For example, uh, say there is a crime, uh, there is an offence of the defamation. So you can't go to police and get the uh, law into motion. Uh, CRPC has given a different procedure. You have to simply go to the court and file a, a, a private complaint under Section 199. Okay. Now again, there are some different offences uh, like perjury, giving false evidence, or using the false document in the court. Okay. These are the offences of CRPC, but still CRPC has provided different procedure. In that also, you can't go to police and uh, file a case directly. Uh, you have to uh, invoke Section uh, 340 of CRPC. And then one one ninety five of CRPC says that no commission should be taken unless a court before whom the crime takes place himself makes a complaint. Okay. Again, there are cases where like you know uh, judges are accused. Now uh, court cannot take commissions against the judge unless sanction is uh, given by the appointing authority that is required by one ninety seven of uh, CRPC. So these are the uh, procedural rights given to us under the CRPC. Uh, as you right pointed out, uh, we have now SPCA in Maharashtra. But let me tell you, in fact, the Maharashtra Police Act was amended because of the uh, guidelines or the directives of the Supreme Court in the case of Prakash Singh, uh, uh, directing all the states to have some mechanism against the police, uh, against the police atrocities. But but sadly, uh, there are no district level uh, SPC authorities in uh, you know uh, police complaint authorities. Uh, so our Maharashtra Police Act was amended, and there is a provision that there should be a state level authority, and uh, there shall be district level authorities. But the district level authorities are still different in Maharashtra, and as far as the state level authority is concerned, 
PLS were filed in the High Court, and because of the uh, constant directions of the High Court, ultimately uh, saw the light of the day. So this is the uh, difficulty. Okay. And now there are again serious cases, more serious cases where uh, approaching the magistrate or uh, SPSA will not work. Uh, in, in normally such cases are uh, where the many people are involved, or politicians are involved. Okay. Uh, as you give example of uh, our uh, ex home minister, ultimately though complaint was given, but nothing was happened, and ultimately matters to High Court under 226, seeking the matter. Was. Okay. So filing a petition under 226 in appropriate cases is also remedy under the law. So uh, now question is, despite all remedies available, common man is always at receiving end, and and the moment he the FIR is uh, uh, avoided to be registered by the police. He is actually deprived of the fundamental right of having access to justice. So this is how I see of the things. And as you rightly said, uh, this is a not only uh, offence under 166 or 166A. Uh, it is a gross violation of Article uh, 21, uh, that is the uh, right to seek justice. Okay. And uh, for that, uh, even a deportment action can be taken because it is abdication of duty also. So, common man should exhaust all these remedies against the police officers concerned, who are time and again avoiding to uh, lodge the FIR and set the law into motion for whatever reasons uh, uh, that common man uh, uh, is not in position to understand. Yeah. So, with this, I'd like to add some. Yeah. I'd like to add uh, some important aspect to our discussion. Yeah. When a common man or related man goes to the police station to lodge FIR. is a fire is not registered because of many factors like the accused may be a politician accused may be a influential person or he may be a businessman or for whatever reasons yeah or he may be a related to the police officer in that case yeah there is a judgment of the honorable supreme court of india in lalita komari versus state of up which is delivered in 2013 that is very much important what that judgment says And what guidelines of the second with that judgment need to be seen? Number one, the judgment says that was the information given by the person who is or discloses publicable office has been committed, then it is duty bound, mandatory duty on the part of police police officer to register a fire. He cannot escape from this liability, and there is no discretion left with him. Number one, if you have the information does not reveal publicable office, then If it is one possible case, then NC can be registered. And third possibility is that the information provided that by the person does not either reveals cognizable nor is non-cognizable. In that case, complaint can be closed, and the copy of the same can be given to the informant or complainant. Now, law says that once the information is given, immediately, without any delay, police officer has to register the fire. Because delay in lodging a fire will result, but a particular way to the prosecution and the case of the prosecution will be uh, mild, and accused will get the benefit of that. And if there is a delay, then delay has to be properly explained by the prosecution. However, the police officer can take some time, like uh, if he is confused, and uh, because the information which is available before him in the written form or oral form. Does not disclose immediately. Does not disclose. He is confused. Then he will take some time for preliminary inquiry. Then preliminary inquiry can be conducted by him. On that ground, he can take some time of seven weeks. Sorry, uh, seven days. As per the judgment, and that preliminary inquiry can be conducted in only which matters? Number one, matrimonial matters, commercial matters, medical negligence. And matter of corruption. Only in such a few categories he can wait and can see whether really uh, whether the police is responsible officer or not. Under the ground of preliminary inquiry, he can wait for seven days. However, he has to conclude. And in remaining remaining things remaining uh, apart from these four cases, if the police is responsible officer, then he must register the FIR, and he cannot escape from his liability. And another aspect, is part of the fact that information provided by the informant reveals commissible offence, and he does not register the fire. In such cases, he is a ring officer, 
and he can be produced under appropriate law departmental action can be taken against him and contempt proceeding can be filed against such a police officer and apart from that if he denies to register a fire in that case the informant can provide the same copy and complain to the dcp or superintendent of police according to section 154 subsection 3 of crpc and in case of omission on the part of sp also if even he doesn't take any action then in that case private complaint can be filed under section 156 subsection 3 yeah and in some exceptional cases the party can also go to the high court under writ jurisdiction under yeah. article 226 of the constitution of india however it is settled law by practice that judiciary always say that when alternate remedy is available then such a remedy has to be recourse first correct correct now one more thing as per this judgment i would like to point out here is the preliminary inquiry is only limited to ascertain whether permissible offence has been conducted or not correct then as per the judgment judgment says that police officer cannot go into the veracity of genuineness yeah. he cannot say that i am checking the veracity of genuineness of the case he has to only this scope is very much limited scope of inquiry is very much limited is that he has to only find out whether permissible offence has been committed or not only that thing only if yes. he has registered a fire yes this is not permissible case to register a fire this is the statutory duty passed yes. on him and yes. when he is doing the when he is doing the preliminary inquiry such a police officer has to make a diary he has to know, make a note in the diary police yes. diary Yes, yes. As to why he is taking the time, that is part of the evidence which could be considered. Yes. Now, therefore, this judgment is very much important. And apart from this judgment, there are also many things uh, question or telling to this FIR, like whether victim can make a complaint or anybody on behalf of the victim can also make the complaint. Obviously, yes, any person on behalf of the victim can also make a complaint. Suppose I am looking. Uh, some offences being committed, then I can also inform the police. Though I am not a victim, yeah. so informal time could be different. Yeah. And another thing I would like to add here: whether the FIR, FIR can be considered as a evidence in the court of law, mm-hmm. whether it is a substantial piece of evidence. Answer is no, because FIR is the only information given by the person. Correct, correct. It is not the substantial, substantial piece of evidence. Yeah. It is even not evidence. because it can be used for only corroboration and contradiction as per section 145 of indian evidence act yes sir right how you were in exceptional cases like a, a person used the information in the written form or oral form and he dies and that information uh, remains as to the cause of his death why he has died then according to section 32 subsection 1 of the indian evidence act that will be dying declaration i need such a time to refer is a dying declaration in that case only it will have evidentiary value then and then this will be considered as evidence that is very much exceptional case another most important point related to fire i would like to say here is uh, whether a fire should be encyclopedia all the facts suppose he missed out some facts if he don't know the name of the person who has committed that Mm-hmm. Then law, what law says? Law says that the FIR need to go to the encyclopedia because who has committed the crime? How many persons are involved? That police can do in the investigation. Only information has to be given by the informant. Yes, yes. So nothing need not be encyclopedia. And another thing, point uh, zero FIR, generally the police zero FIR, etc. Because it's the place where the offence is committed for example offence is committed in kulaba mumbai then only that police of kulaba will have jurisdiction over that and only police of kulaba can register the fire and not the police of any other police station of the mumbai or yes. any other police in india can register yes. because the place where offence is committed and the court within whose jurisdiction offence is committed will try and conduct the trial yes yes however in some cases it is very difficult to know where the offence is committed It is difficult to ascertain the case, so that there won't be delay. Police has to register a fire that is called zero fire. Mm-hmm. Police don't know, for example, where the offence is committed. Like 
Delhi, Mumbai, or the kind of case. If the matrix or the police has to register a fire, that is called zero fire. Suppose the Bombay police has registered a fire, and finally police found that the offence was committed at Pune, and Pune Pune police station has jurisdiction, then such a fire can be sent to the proper police station, which has got the jurisdiction over the matter. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, let, let us let me remind you. Uh, we have only time of uh, two minutes left. Okay, uh, okay, continue, continue. Yeah, if we want to continue, uh, if we want to continue, then uh, what we'll do? I will close the meeting here so that we can uh, rejoin. So we'll have a. Uh, we can do the two part. You can sum up. You can sum up. We can do in two parts. Okay. Uh, so let us uh, conclude here today, or uh, we'll uh, rejoin. What do you say? Conclude, conclude, conclude. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Basuji, uh, yeah. do, do you want to say something few words because uh, time is very short? Concluding. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. So especially, this is a case of uh, if I are uh, pertaining to the law, mm -hmm. and all at three are lawyers. So yeah. uh, basically, for me, that I have to learn something from you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so right now I am not. Uh, but one thing I can say is that end of the day, the people are not getting justice yeah. because of not filing the FIR. Yes. Even also the heinous crime, we cannot file a FIR. Yeah, yeah. Not only it is in happen in Bombay, it is happen in the uh, throughout the all the states of the uh, correct, country. Correct, correct. correct. Yes. Can yes. Because uh, law is good, the expression is good, but yeah. ultimately fact is that. Yeah, yeah. The officer doesn't want to file FIR. Yes. The reason is uh, number one reason is shortage of police mm -hmm. and number two reason is obviously we have a very good faith of law yeah, but yeah. judiciary is a very good failure in this country. Yes, yes. Because yes. I, I have two cases. One is filed in 2018 and another is 2019. Till yes. today I have not get any justice. Okay. I think that you are well aware of that. Yeah, yeah. So now Gamraj, you, uh, you, you want to say something few words? Very short. Your wife, your wife, why police do not take the fire? Unmute yourself. But still, I, I agree with you, my friend, Mr. Basu, but still, yeah. uh, judiciary, the state, that is a uh, last resort yeah. to the common man. Yeah. Still, it proved strong, yeah. and uh, we must believe and respect. Yeah. And 